to God be the glory and praise. I would like to share to you the dream that I had uh, November 15 of 2015 and it has something to do about bearing good fruits. So in my dream, I saw myself, I rode in a plane and I went home in the Philippines and uh, we went to this place and I think I visited uh, a family, you know, a family member or a relative. So I was in their place and uh, I was walking in this ark. So the ark is just like this, but it's covered with a uh, grapevine. So I was walking inside this ark and I noticed that as I look up, there's actually a lot of grapes, you know, um, grapes on that uh, ark. So I was so excited because I love grapes. So I started to pick one. But I noticed as I start to pick, uh, to pick the grapes, they are all rotten. You know, I can't, I can't even pick even a single grape to eat because all the clusters of grapes that were bearing, you know, that are growing there are all rotten. They're like dried up and rotten. So I, I go on walking, try to look for, uh, you know, a grape that I could pick. Suddenly at the middle, I saw this huge mango. So I said, okay, probably this is better because it's yellow and I know it was so ripe. So I started to reach it. And as I reached it, I noticed that this mango was actually like, it's ripe, but it's so, uh, it's so thin that I can only hold the seed inside and at the same time the you know the cover so it's still useless it's like it's empty nothing is inside so i keep on going looking at all the rotten grapes i found this one uh, banana you know it's strange because um if it's a grape vine how will it grow banana or mango but that's how i saw it in my dream so i was reaching this banana as i reach it because it's so big as i reach it it was cut into two because it's overripe it's also rotten so i didn't you know i didn't have any so i decided just to go on but as i turn on my left side i saw this uh this plant but the fruits are like strawberries so it's a huge plant and my cousins were actually you know uh, my cousins were actually covering it, like protecting it with a cellophane of all the plants that they had. This was covered and being protected. So I came close because I was thinking probably this is the only uh, fruit that I can eat. So as he took off the cover, it's not a strawberry. It's green, but I don't know what kind of fruit was it. So I decided not to, you know, to, to get anything. So I moved away, and as I was walking out of this, that ark, I noticed that on my left side, there's like a stage wherein the la uh, ladies were singing on stage, and there are a lot of people in front screaming, screaming and yelling, you know, for they were enjoying the song that the lady was singing. And I know it's not a church song. I know it was like a, the late, latest Filipino song and I don't even recognize it. So I just walked through and facing this arena or the stage, it was actually covered with a, a, a cemented fence. Facing that one, there's actually like tall grasses probably like six feet tall grasses and on top of the grasses were people it's impossible that this grass won't bend down they were standing straight like this and people were standing on top of those grasses and they were dancing so i was looking at them because the grasses were growing at the middle of the road so I was thinking, instead of me walking straight on that road, I have to turn the other way. I have to go around it because I can't pass through because of the grasses that were growing there. So anyway, that's how my dream ended. And I knew when I woke up, when you talk about grapes, it has a very big meaning when it comes to the word of God. 
So, I started to open up, uh, you know, uh, the Bible verses about, I'm so sorry, uh, some people were asking about what Bible I am reading. I'm actually getting it in Google, mostly the NIV. And you might probably see I have a notebook here. I'm just making my diary. So, you know, so I can remember my dreams and then I'm putting, I'm trying to reflect. If it's connected with the Bible, then I'm posting it. But if it's not, I, I actually don't. So, when you talk about the grapes, you know, or the vines, uh, in John 15 verse 5, the Lord said, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So if you see that, uh, if you try, uh, you know, as I reflect in my dream, they're bearing a lot of fruits. You know, they're bearing a lot of fruits because I know they believe in God and they believe in Jesus. But the question is, what kind of fruit are they bearing? Because I notice in my dream, all the fruits that they have are rotten. It's worthless and it's useless. So in John 15 verse 2, let's go first with the vine and the branches. John 15 verse 2, He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that, that does bear fruit, He prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. So brothers and sisters in Christ, I know we need to be fruitful. And with Jesus in us, we will be bearing much fruit. And... Um, uh, in order for us to be bearing fruits, we need to be with the Lord. But um, in here, what kind of fruits, you know, are we supposed to be bearing? Uh, when you go here to Matthew 7, verse 17, you will know them, This, you know, the people, you will know these people. Or I think it was talking about false prophet also. You will know them or the people by their fruit. Grapes are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor figs from thistles, are they? So every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. So John 15 verse 8, This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. In Matthew 7 verse 18, A good tree cannot produce bad fruit nor a bad tree produces good fruit so people are act who be, you know people are actually bearing fruit but it depends on what kind of fruit are you bearing if you are a good tree and you believe in god that jesus is your vine and you are the branches you will be bearing good fruit and then if you don't believe in jesus christ and if you don't follow him if you are disobedient to the Lord, you are not going to bear bad fruit. Uh, you are not going to bear good fruit. So a good tree bears good fruit, and a bad tree bears bad fruit. In Matthew twelve thirty three, either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad, for the for the tree is known by its fruits. So when you go to Matthew, you know, tree in this parable, it's like, or in this Bible verses, it's like people are considered a tree. We should be bearing good fruits for the Lord. So when you go to Matthew 3 verse 10 and Luke 3 verse 9, they're, they're almost the same. The axe is already, already laid at the foot of, at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. So if we're not bearing fruit, we will be cut off. And the Lord also said that, you know, with the vine and the branches, if you're not bearing fruit, they're going to cut you off and be thrown into the fire. So what are, you, what are these fruit of the fruits that we are talking here? So I made a research about fruit of the Spirit. In Galatians 5 verse 22, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. 
and the Lord also made a, made a, a statement here in uh, in John 15 verse 8 this is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit showing yourselves to be uh, my disciple so how could we be a disciple of Christ when you go to John 13 verse 15 for I gave you an example that you also should do as I did to you remember what what Jesus did to us we should do it the same way to other people Jesus said love your brothers you know as yourselves and then the Lord also reminded us whatever you do to the least of your brothers you do unto me so what are the things that the Lord wants us to do to love one another you know he also mentioned about uh, to die for a friend and we are considered God's friend you know Jesus friend and he also said you know um, he's been teaching about the parable of uh, the good Samaritan to love your neighbors and he also mentioned about uh, the fig tree that we have to bear fruit he also teach us to be the fishers of men you know he said here in Matthew 4 verse 19 and he said to them follow me and I will make you fishers of men so it's not just you know being a fisherman to catch a fish but to be the servant of the lord to be a fisher of men that we speak the word of god and then you know warn the people and remind the people of uh remind the people to repent and go back to the lord and showing yourself uh, because god is holy we have to walk in righteousness and try to be holy and live the way the Lord wants us to be make an example that other people will follow and you will inspire them to go back to the Lord so how about the grass that I've been showing in my dream go to 1st Peter 1 verse 24 to 25 for all flesh is like grass and all its glory like the flower of grass the grass wither and the flower falls off but the word of the lord endures forever and this is the word which was preached to you so we are like considered grass grass on the field grasses on the field you know we are considered grass on the field that we also wither and we die our flowers will fall off so therefore while we are young while we are still alive we have to remember that uh we have to follow the lord we have to be his instrument to remind people to go back to the lord and show the love the lord wants us to show to other people and uh, but you know heaven and earth the lord said heaven and earth will pass away but my word will never pass away his word remains forever so go to isaiah 40 verse 8 the grass withers the flower fades but the word of our god stands forever how about the singing psalm 149 verse 3 let them praise his name with dancing let them sing praises to him with tremble and lyre so you know um we have to remember singing and dancing is for us to glorify the lord be careful with what the hollywood songs are and the dances that they have and um please please bear good fruit uh i just came out from work uh tonight and um uh, i give the glory and praise to the lord i'm really just so tired but brothers and sisters in christ as long as we are alive let's be an instrument of the lord bear much fruit he told me uh in one of my dreams he said let the body wear and tear by itself because he will give us new body so therefore as a grass on the field we have to make sure our life is you know our life is limited but we have to make sure that we will be fruitful and we will bear much fruit and we do this fruit for the glory of god Thank you, brothers and sisters in Christ. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.